been that way for the last nine months, really up until the day, the night before I came on this cruise, which I was feeling awesome about. And then I found out that he's been cheating on me for a really long time. We agree that you all have different levels of how much you're willing to put up with. And whether he's just annoying or whether he is violating some commitment that the two of you have established. In other words, we get it that there are narrower and wider gaps. But we want to be so bold as to say that whoever you are interacting with is going to violate the commitment that almost all of you want them to keep. And the commitment that almost everybody wants, everybody that they're up close to and personal to keep is, I want you to promise to put me first no matter what. And that is a commitment that no one keeps. Because you're not wired like that. You were not born like that. You, you've come to establish, we would like your marriage vows or your relationship vows to go like this. Dear one, I want you to know that as much as I love you, there's someone who comes first before you. And that is my alignment with the source within me. That's my inner being. That's who I'm devoted to. That's who I'm aligned to. That's who I'm feeling for. That's what my commitment is to. And my promise to you is that I will give you as much as I can, the fullness of me, not a separated me. I'm going to do my best to satisfy my alignment and therefore give you the gift of living with someone who is aligned. And what that will be for you, what that will mean for you, how that will play out for you is, I won't be needing or demanding from you behavior in order to keep myself happy. My happiness will be dependent upon my focus. There are people who feel betrayed if their partners think about other people. There are people who feel betrayed if their partner doesn't give their undivided attention to them. There are people who feel jealous if anyone feels happy at the thought or in the conversation with somebody else. There's, there are all kinds of degrees of cheating on you. And for the most part, any part of someone else cheating on you just means you've taken your attention away from me. And I was dependent upon your attention being upon me so that I could feel good. And now you've taken your attention away from me since it was this is too strong for you but we really want you all to to not be dependent upon anyone for the alignment that it is the epitome of looking for love in all the wrong places and when you say you've cheated on me we know we know there are agreements that you make we get what you're talking about but we would like you to be uncheatable uponable I'm stable and my self-respect, my sense of well-being is not dependent upon your behavior. So what you're really wanting to do is decide what you want and become a vibrational match to what you want and you will attract a partner who is a vibrational match to what you want, you see. And so we're not suggesting that you will not find another partner. We're just suggesting that you find true alignment with who you are before you go looking. Okay. Yeah.